regarding the topic uh, design for all. Mm. How do you see the difference? Well, I think I will start uh, from another um, aspect to begin with, because what I think uh, design for all is uh, a philosophy, is an approach, uh, but is also a strategy and a practice. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a design thinking as an approach and a philosophy, doesn't matter where in the world you are. Because it's about human diversity. It's about un understanding uh, human needs and uh, trying to understand uh, uh, human behavior and put uh, people at the center uh, of your focus, whatever you do, wherever you are. And it's about designing for inclusion. Well, all people talk about uh, special needs. Uh, not about disabilities because uh, mm. this is a, this is another word uh, wording which uh, seems to be more positive. Yes. Uh, another uh, term is design. In Middle Europe, uh, most of the people think that design is something for a small group, for a small elite, and so. Mm. And so, uh, my question is. Uh, is it easy to communicate these topics uh, or uh, do you think there are, let's say, problems in the way of educate people? Oh, that's a very relevant question. And uh, design is a difficult word. word. That's one thing. So let me start with that and I will mm -hmm. talk about yeah. the disability mm -hmm. element later. Um, when I started and work in this field uh, 13 years ago, uh, I've been working with uh, design uh, in, uh, and uh, innovation uh, most of my life in the private sector. But when I started in this field, uh, design for all, I realized that there is a lot of misconception, myths and, uh, and um, uh, lack of knowledge about what design is. It, it's not about uh, aesthetics, it's not just about uh, form and, uh, and uh, fancy um, clothing and kitchens and furniture. Uh, it's design is a method of how to develop uh, products and services and environments that are improving life. And we have to start communicate that in a better way. And sometimes the design word is difficult. So uh, depending on your target group who you're talking to, you can just talk about uh, a business strategy if it's to business, but how to understand uh, and how to make uh, uh, human, uh, to meet human needs and, and uh, to include um, a diversity of people uh, when you uh, develop products mm -hmm. and services. Mm -hmm. So it, there's always a lot of, um, of uh, myths to bust. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm uh, always busting myths by giving examples. Okay. And that's the best way of conveying what design can do for you. Um, like everybody uh, can walk into a, an automatic door, everybody can use an elevator, but stairs and, and heavy doors can be a barrier for all of us. And uh, so the examples speak for themselves. So when you have um, awareness of, uh, of um, who will use your products and services, then you start designing or developing something that is actually more inclusive. Mm -hmm. So I think um, you have to bith, myth, sorry, you have mm -hmm. to bust yeah. all the myths uh, mm -hmm. about design, and um, and um, you can do that uh, when uh, in your own way. Uh, but examples are very powerful. Mm -hmm. Do you think? And an organization like the EIDD, what can such an organization do? Is it the education aspect or is it the network aspect or political um, uh, focus, let's say uh, politicians or so? Or what is the main aspect? Well, um, originally it was a network between different types of member organizations working in this field and combining our knowledge and sharing experience uh, we, we grow stronger and stronger and we have maybe a bit different uh, focus uh, depending on situation and country but what we see is that we do want to influence politically uh, at a European level. 
uh, we do want to uh, work with education mm -hmm. and we do want to work with business and uh, so there are yes all of it mm -hmm. actually and uh...